Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to our Ask Me Anything session. And uh, thank you for uh, expressing interest in knowing what Strata does and, and eventually uh, looking to consider to invest in uh, the kind of assets we get on board. My name is Nihar Shah and I had investments with Strata. Uh, I will quickly take you all through what Strata does, what have we done in the past, how do we select assets, why does it make a lot of sense for you as an investor to allocate your funds into these kind of uh, investments and the pros and cons of these kind of investments and what you can expect. <clears throat> So, uh, you know, generally, if you see and if you if you speak to anyone, uh, taking a broader example of, uh, of the country, the total wealth, which we look at in India is about $5 trillion of wealth. 60% out of this has been investing uh, in, in traditional assets, whether it's gold, diamond, silver, fixed deposit bonds and residential real estate. Uh, there is a strong need for uh, uh, investing into an alternate asset class, which actually does better than most of these traditional asset classes uh, in terms of returns, uh, flexibility, uh, and at the same time, transparency. Uh, commercial real estate as an investment uh, option was giving anywhere between seven to 9% return on the rental yield part. But apart from that, what we should be investing in is also is the capital gains, uh, which is the appreciation on the underlying asset. Till now, a lot of people were not able to invest into marquee or A-grade commercial real estate assets for three or four reasons. One was uh, the high ticket size. Uh, for example, if you're in Mumbai and if you know in BKC, there's a building called Capital Building. One entire floor in that building would cost anywhere between 150 to 200 crores where you have tenants like Visa, MasterCard, Deutsche Bank, Pfizer and all of that. So we wanted to solve for that. Second is in your busy day-to-day -day life, uh, if you invest into multiple assets, you would not have the time to manage the investment, speak to the tenant, uh, uh, go back to the site every month or every quarter or half a year to see if there is any requirement in terms of maintenance and all of that. And eventually finding a new tenant when this tenant moves out and also uh, looking at selling the asset uh, as, as and when you wish to. So that was another problem which we wanted to solve for. Thirdly, there was these kind of assets were highly inaccessible for clients uh, who were putting in less than 200, 300 crores because you would have international funds and even funds based in India or, or institutions looking at buying these assets. So we are getting onto our platform and eventually to you the kind of assets which were earlier available only to these institutions to invest and never brought to you and me as, as an investor. So uh, that was also one of the main reasons why we thought that as a platform and as a, as a uh, a model this will work and, and last two, two and a half years, we've seen tremendous response coming in. Uh, also, one more very important reason is, and, and the basics of investing is that when you look at investing into any asset, whether it's real estate, uh, equities, wherever, you need to diversify. You don't want to put in all your eggs in one basket. So uh, earlier, if you would have 10, 15, 20 crores also to invest, uh, you could invest at max in, in one asset if you look at a smaller asset. But here, what we are saying is that you can invest 25 lakhs into one asset. So with that one crore uh, investable amount, you can actually diversify and, and reduce the concentration risk uh, in one asset and actually invest in three to four assets. Uh, more important is liquidity because when you invest, you also have a question that how do I exit my investments and when is it that I can get my money out if at all I need? Uh, I strongly believe, and we as a, as a house have a view that investing into real estate should be long-term. Uh, it should not be an overnight investment, which you do, and probably in one month, six months, one year's time, you should be looking at exiting. Probably if that's the tenure, then you should be investing in other asset classes. But if you want to create wealth over a long term, if you want to get benefit of the regular rents, which are hitting your account month on month, and eventually getting escalated on a year on year or once in three years kind of a cycle, then this is an asset to be where you will also get regular passive income, but at the same time, the capital value will also go up. However, if need be, if you still wish to exit for whatever reason, after one year, uh, exit is possible uh, on, on you know, our platform and in the secondary market, and I'll talk more about it in my further slides. So all of this put together makes it a very interesting reason why you should look at investing in CRE and at the same time, why you should invest through a platform like ours, which gives you benefit of uh, uh, you know, all of these things which I just spoke about. Uh, as a company, we started about two and a half, three years back. As we speak, we have more than 40,000 investors or clients who are registered on our portal. Uh, more than two and a half to 3,000 clients, rather 2,600 clients have invested with us, at least 25 lakhs or more. 
Uh, our AUM stands at about 780 crores at this point of time. Uh, in fact, with the last asset, we would have crossed uh, uh, 800 crores. Uh, by this March end, which is by the end of this financial year, we would be crossing 1,000 crores as well. Uh, ours is a tech-enabled platform. We started off just at the time when COVID set in. And the first 500 crores, which we uh, got from our investors, was complete online. In fact, till now also, the entire 800 crores, which, which we've raised, none of that is physical investment. All our investors have invested through uh, you know, the platform, which is either on the website or through the app, which is available, which you can download on your, on your phones and easily invest. Uh, it's, it's as simple. Uh, what we do is when you log on to our platform, you see a page called Current Offerings or Properties. Uh, you will see certain assets which are already closed in the last two, two and a half years, uh, the current asset which is going on, and you'll be able to go through the details of that asset, which is either the legal due diligence or the actual property, the tenant, uh, the investment deck, the financial model, which tells you what is the kind of amount which will hit into your account month on month for X number of years, and you can play around with those numbers. So, so you can go through all of that uh, and decide to invest. The minute you decide to invest, KYC is done online. And within 15 to 20 minutes, all the processes are complete. Uh, the entire setup is, is ring fenced, which means that there is a virtual account which is created. So your money does not go into third party's account. Uh, that flows into the master escrow account. And then from that escrow account, uh, eventually the money goes into uh, the, the seller's hand. And I will explain again that structure in the further slides. What is more important is that once you invest, while it's a passive investment for you, we want you to be able to go on our investor dashboard and actually look at every other detail of your investment as and when you feel like. And hence, you can track your investments and everything happening with it on our investor dashboard, which also I will, I will showcase to you guys. And eventually, when you want to sell, uh, as I said, after one year, exit is available at any given point of time. However, we recommend investments for minimum three to five years. Five to seven years is the best scenario, but otherwise three to five years could be the average investment cycle. It is important for also you to understand that how do we choose properties, right? Today, when you invest or when you're deciding to invest, there are certain checks and balances which you might take. But as an expert, it is our responsibility to do all these checks and balances well before we even offer these uh, kind of assets to you. So we screen the property uh, across multiple factors and parameters. We do not take a property where there is no OC. So it has to be a legit property with, with required approvals. Uh, we do not take a property where the tenant is not there. We do not take a property where the tenant is there, but the lock-in is not there. We need a minimum two years kind of a lock-in. Average lock-in uh, from the tenant uh, is about five, five and a half years on our entire portfolio. We also do a detailed study on who the tenant is, what is the management of the tenant company, what business are they into, and is this their head office, not their head office. For example, we will prefer assets who uh, where you know the tenants uh, are having their head office and we have a couple of our assets where tenants are having their head office in our asset uh, could be india head office could be asia head office and all of that uh, we also have an investment committee which actually goes through all these parameters and approves of assets out of every 10 assets which we uh, analyze on a on a regular basis probably seven to eight assets are, are refused straight away. And then eventually just one or two assets come onto the platform. So that's the kind of due diligence and balance check which we do at our end. What we also do is uh, we have our exclusive data partner called PropStack where we log in and we see the actual rates which are which are available in the market or at which the transactions have happened in the market. Uh, for example, again, going by my example of capital building, today the building is trading at anywhere between 37 to 38,000 rupees a square feet. Uh, I have access to all the uh, sale agreements and lease agreements which have happened in that building. Uh, so I can easily say that what is the average price going in that building and what is uh, uh, the inflated price. So we will never do a transaction which is at an inflated price in the market, nor do we do transactions where the rents which we are paying are higher than the market rents. So, so most of our properties are always at par. Some of the properties are at a discount as well, which means a higher capital gain. And the current property which we have also uh, is at a substantial discount to the market. Uh, so investing becomes very easy and very smooth for you. Uh, once you invest, uh, the management also is going to be done by all of us. I mean, my entire company. And all you have to do is track the investments on a regular basis if at all you wish to. Otherwise, you can connect with us and uh, also take an update on what's happening uh, on, on your investment. 
Uh, the structure is very simple. Uh, in traditional days, you or your family elders would have invested jointly with your family, friends and all of that, but that was all in an unorganized space. Uh, we manage this in a very organized space where uh, all of us as investors come into an SPV. We create an SPV called Special Purpose Vehicle. This is a private limited company which is formed to acquire the asset. Let's say if 10 of us invest together in this asset, the asset price is 10 crores, all of us invest 1 crore each. We put that money into this SPV through an escrow account or this private limited company. And once the 10 crores is collected, the SPV or the private limited company goes and registers the asset in its own name. And you as an investor become the shareholder of this SPV or private limited company. And in lieu of that, you get equity plus, which is shares plus convertible debentures, which, which gives you a coupon, which means the rents or interest income is given to you on a month-on-month -month basis. So that's the structure under which you will own, you will be own, you will be shareholders of a company which will own the particular asset, collect rents, and eventually when we have to exit, we will sell the SPV or sell the company itself. So uh, so it becomes very efficient and transparent. Uh, all of this is managed by an escrow agent and a trusteeship company. We have universal trusteeship company, which we appoint to manage all our assets. They ensure that uh, the formation of the company, once the, the commitment is received, the registration of the asset, and eventually the distribution of the rents and day-to-day -day management of the SPV is done as per the law and as per the Indian Companies Act. So, so for every asset, the trusteeship or the trustee company, which is a, a universal trusteeship company, which is the part of ICSA group is appointed and they manage all of that. Uh, every asset or whichever, whatever money you invest, that does not go to strata at any given point of time. That goes into an escrow account and from there it flows into the SPV. So your money is secured. The asset is also straight away registered in the SPV name whose shareholder uh, uh, you become when you invest. So at no point of time, strata receives the money from your hand, nor does it receive the rent it only receives the GST amount, which has to be filed, and obviously the 1% management fee, which we charge, and, and we'll talk more about it in, in the further slides. Uh, I will quickly take you all through the actual live uh, investor dashboard where you can track all the asset details, TDS certificates, rental payouts, and all of that. This is how, when you, when you invest, you get access to these kind of dashboards where you can, let's say, for example, go on to uh, this investment, which was done. So over here, you will see the kind of uh, uh, investments which were initiated, what is the lease start date, what is the lock-in date, what is the lease end date. Apart from that, if you want to see any uh, reports in terms of TDS reports, all of that is, is provided over here. Consolidated report for the financial year is provided over here. TDS certificates on quarter on quarter is uploaded over here, which, which will be helpful for uh, you to you know give it to your uh, CA and, and tax expert and all of that. Uh, apart from that, what is very important is that before you invest, you also get uh, to see the documents. Uh, let's say, for example, we talk about the property documents, the lease deed, the actual lease agreement, NOC from government bodies, the title report, uh, sale deed, land title report, mortgage discharge report. So all kind of actual uh, government documents which are required or legal documents which are required is something which you will see over here as well. The construction agreement, if there's any possession letter, valuation report, there's a valuation which is done once a year and that also is uploaded over here. Also, when you become the shareholder of the SPV, uh, it is important for you to understand that uh, the documents, which is the certificate of incorporation, MOA, AOA, PAN card, everything is uploaded uh, here for you to see. Uh, on the investment document, you can see draft letters and eventually the final letters for which is your share certificate, um, the consent letter for asset management agreement, everything is uploaded for your view. Uh, as I said, we recently launched uh, Strata app as well. So you can actually invest and track all your investments through your uh, app as well on your mobile phone or, or your tablet. So that it becomes very convenient and we've seen a lot of investors now actually doing investments through this because of the convenience uh, it provides. Uh, as, it, as, as Strata, we are asset managers and this is our bread and butter. This is what we want to do. Uh, apart from this, we don't have any other businesses or verticals and all of that. Now, you would ask that what is it that we do? Why do we charge 1% management fee on your original investment amount? So we do, uh, you know, pre-asset acquiring uh, services, more than that, also managing the asset during the life cycle of the asset and eventually when the asset has to be sold. So right from uh, uh, doing the due diligence and acquiring the asset, registering the asset, uh, negotiating the lease terms with the tenants or the seller, if at all, uh, 
uh, regular management of the tenant and uh, management of the property as well. Valuation reports uh, is all of that is something which is done by us. If at all there is a tenant who's moving out after his lock-in period of three, five, nine years, if there is another tenant which has to be brought on, on, on the asset, that is also something which is done by us. Rent collection, rent disbursement, GST filing, market updates, reports, everything is taken care of by us. So for you, uh, the minute you invest, you need to stop worrying about managing the asset and the investment. And eventually when the exit has to be done, that is also done by us. As I said, uh, what are your exit options when you invest? It's important for you to understand. I also believe that when you invest, you should understand the nature of the underlying asset. Over here, you're buying an actual physical asset which otherwise was not available to you because investment amount was higher and, and multiple other factors, which I just spoke about in the starting. Uh, irrespective, let's say if you invest a crore with us, if you wish to exit partially or fully anytime after one year, you can do that. You can, minimum investment starts at 25 lakhs though. But let's say if you've invested more, you can partially exit as well. Uh, the best way to exit is through a natural asset sale. Uh, so when we complete two years, uh, that is when the long-term capital gain applies and we are out of the short-term capital gain regime. Uh, if at all there are offers on, on the property for acquisition from the market or any other investors and all of that, we will do an AGM and we will bring those offers to you. If 75% of my investors agree to sell, that's when Strata goes ahead and sells the asset. That is the natural asset sale. And, and we recommend that because that's how you will be able to maximize the return and output on your investment. Uh, apart from that, let's say if you still want to exit midway or before the asset is sold, uh, there is an offline transaction which is always possible, which we call as private transaction, where we at any given point of time have uh, investors or clients on the wait list. Just to give you an example, uh, let's say if our asset is a 30 crore asset and if it's if it's funded, uh, there would still be people wanting to invest. So we always take down the details and put them on wait list. And as and when someone wants to exit from that asset, we go back to our waitlist guys and waitlist investors and offer the, the, the uh, uh, units in that particular asset. What we're also working on is the resale platform and soon on, on our website or on our uh, portal, you will see a resale platform going live where you'll be able to buy and sell online uh, without involving us or without going in the offline market. So that is also going to be live soon. Uh, who can invest in Strata pretty much Every uh, legal entity can invest in Strata. If you're an Indian resident, obviously you can. NRIs also can invest. 18% of our investments comes from uh, our NRI investors. Uh, HUF families, LLP companies, private limited companies, alternate investment funds, PMS services, all of these uh, uh, companies or entities can invest with us. Our minimum investment uh, stands at 25 lakhs. Our recommended time frame or investment hold period is anywhere between five to seven years. But looking at the way market is going, I think anywhere between three to five years would also be a good time uh, horizon to invest for. The rental yields, which we are seeing average rental yields are anywhere between seven to 12% or rather closer between eight to 10% now. Uh, an expected IRR, which includes your capital appreciation, should be anywhere between 12 to 16 percent. And, and uh, uh, that's something which uh, is very conservative, which we, we uh, always uh, quote. Uh, we also have something called as uh, Strata Blue, which is our loyalty program for our investors. Today, if you want to invest in your name, your, your family's name, your uh, uh, you know company's name and all of that. So we... Uh, Realize that why should you not get benefit of all those investments which you've done in your group, which is within your company name or within your family name. So we can link all of them as well. And if you reach a threshold of one crore of investments, the management fee goes down, then at three crores and then at five crores, it goes even further. So from 1%, it goes to 70 bips for all your investments on your original investment amount. So, so that is something which uh, is, is a benefit which we want to pass on uh, because of the loyalty which is shown by you and the regular investments which we get from you. 28% of our investments are repeat investments, which means every asset we launch close to 28 to 30% is funded by our existing investors because uh, they want to diversify across locations, across regions. Even if you're sitting in Bangalore, you would want to invest in Mumbai or Pune or Jaipur and vice versa, because that is the flexibility, that is the power which we offer you by this platform, which unlike, which was, which was never possible if you would have physically wanted to invest into any assets because you would not be able to travel to various cities and manage those assets. So, so those are additional benefits which you will get when you look at investing with us. Uh, taxation is pretty simple over here. 
because this is the company uh, uh, model which we run, which is a private limited company, which we uh, create and you become shareholders. Uh, the rent which gets passed on to you through the CCDs is, is given as interest income and that gets added into your income from other sources. But when we sell after two years, the capital gain is considered as long-term capital gain. And also the taxation is only 20% with an indexation benefit, which means that if your capital gains is more or less around 5%, you will not be taxed because the indexation base is, is about 5 odd percent. So, so your total or overall cost or tax as we say, would come down to anywhere between 23 to 25%. But again, as I said, you should consult your tax advisor or CA for the actual tax uh, uh, implication, but this is how it is. A 10% TDS obviously is deducted when the interest is paid to you, and that gets reflected into your 26 AS as well. Uh, I will share the financial model, or we will share our financial model with you, wherein you can actually see the breakdown of all the costs and all of that and uh, it'll be very helpful for you. Uh, for NRIs also, it's pretty simple. Uh, you will get equity and shares. Uh, the taxable income obviously is the uh, interest income as well. And there is an LTCG also, which you get, uh, which is at 10%, but there's no indexation benefit uh, if you're an NRI. But yes, your LTCG is only at 10%, unlike 20% when you are a resident investor. A lot of people have asked us in the past that how are you different from a REIT? While we can't, we don't compare ourselves with REIT, but still there are, there are stark differences which you know you can also go on our FAQ section and you can read. But then I will also highlight a few of them. One is uh, REIT is uh, a publicly you know traded instrument which you can buy and sell on the exchange. Uh, the investments which you do with us is not that we, we are more like private REITs. But the major difference is that today when you invest in a REIT, you cannot choose where your money is being deployed. In, in strata or in assets like what we offer, you can actually choose where your money goes and, and you can decide whether you want to invest in Bangalore, Mumbai, Pune, Chennai, or all of them. So, so that is something which uh, uh, you know our investors enjoy. Also, the yield or the returns are fixed in our kind of assets where you know that this is the actual lease agreement and I'm going to get this return till the time I remain invested in this asset. Uh, that's, that's something which doesn't happen in a REIT where it's a mark-to-market -market risk uh, and you will see the uh, read prices going up and down depending on the volatility in the market as well. Unlike the nature of the asset, uh, which is a AAA grade investment uh, asset, which you see a commercial asset or a warehousing or industrial asset, uh, I don't see the stock market going up and down should affect your uh, actual physical property going up and down, right? People invest in physical or actual property because they want stable income and they want stability in their investment. So capital erosion is out of question if you invest through our kind of assets or our kind of platform and, and the route at which we're talking about. Also, uh, the transparency in terms of at what price do we acquire the asset, at what price uh, versus what price, which is being put at in terms of valuation and a REIT is very different. Uh, here, you will be able to see all the documents beforehand. In REITs, you will not be able to see the kind of due diligence documents which we share over here with you. Also, in REIT, a uh, lot of, or rather 10% of the money could be invested into non income generating assets while in fraction investments or direct investments or private REIT, which we call it, uh, everything which you invest generates uh, money or generates cash flows for you. Uh, there is no debt at SPV level while in REITs 49% could be borrowed and debt could be there to, to the tune of 49% of the overall asset value. Uh, also, there is an exit uh, limitation in REIT. The assets cannot be sold for minimum three years while in our platform, on our platform, you can sell the asset even after a day. But again, we recommend holding for a longer period because it's it's beneficial. So, so these are some points, but you can also go on our FAQ section and, and read more about the differences or, or the comparison between the two. Uh, it is also important to understand that while you're investing in this, what are the risks which could come to your mind? So capital risk, as I said, there is absolutely no chance of capital erosion because the kind of uh, rates at which we acquire the asset is more or less at market levels or probably at a discount to the market. And the current asset which we are running on our platform is at a good uh, 10 to 15 percent or other 15 to 18 percent discount to the market. Liquidity risk, uh, yes, there is that that I would say as medium, you cannot buy and sell overnight what happens in the stock market. 
because the asset is not such. Today, if you own a house or if you own an office yourself, you will take at least three to six months to sell. However, the liquidity on our platform is after one year, which is available. There's a lock-in of one year for you. Uh, you can sell any point of time. And we've seen more than 35, 40 transactions happening on our platform where the end-to-end -end timeline was under 60 days. So that is something which you can expect. Uh, the real estate risk uh, over here is almost negligible or very low for you because all the due diligence is done by uh, Strata in advance and uh, all the reputed firms are appointed to take all the legal opinions and do all the due diligence across the entire process. Uh, the tenancy risk is one of the risks which you should consider as well. Uh, while you're investing into this because the rents which we receive is from the actual tenant who is there on our property. Uh, hence, there are three or four mitigants which we uh, uh, keep in mind before acquiring an asset. So one, as I said, we do not take a property where there is no lock-in from the tenant side. Second, we do not take a property or we do not prefer taking a property where the furniture and fit-out expenditure is done by the landlord. We want the furniture and fit-out expenditure to be done by the tenant. Uh, that's where his skin in the game is there and probably he uh, sticks around for a much longer time. We prefer taking assets which uh, where which is their head office of that company in India or Asia, uh, rather than taking up assets which could purely be the back office or just an extension. So that is something which, which also we are mindful of. We also do not take an asset where my rentals, which the tenant is paying me, is the highest in the industry or, or not in the industry, but in the micro market or in that building. So we are always in the middle or probably at the lower end of the rental curve, which ensures that the tenant is never going to move out because of the higher rentals, which he would get everywhere else. So the cost of replacement or the replacement cost is, is uh, going to be much higher and hence we see tenants sticking around a lot. So these are few points which uh, I just mentioned, apart from what I mentioned earlier, uh, is what we take care of when we look at getting or acquiring a property. Uh, quick uh, uh, look back on what we've done. And, and currently, we stand at 780 crores. With the current asset, we cross 800 crores. The total square footage, which we manage, is about uh, 2.8 million square feet or 28 lakh square feet. We are evenly spread across three asset classes, warehouses, industrial warehouses, and office space. Uh, we've done one asset in retail as well, where West Side, which is Trent Limited, uh, they are our, our, our tenants. And we are uh, widely spread across Mumbai, uh, Bangalore, Hosur, Chennai, Jaipur, and uh, Hyderabad. These are some of the tenants in our portfolio. We have Reach Local, which is a US media company in our Bombay, Mumbai asset. Henkel also is one of the tenants which we did in the LNT Seawoods asset, which we currently running. Uh, apart from that, we have Westside, as I said, the first retail uh, asset which we had. This is in Chennai. Uh, and apart from that, we have Puma's head office in Bangalore, Seven Cross. They bought uh, Wakefit, Microplastics. Uh, Pro Connect, SM Auto, all these guys have either industrial units or, uh, you know, warehousing assets with us in Bangalore, uh, Jaipur, and uh, uh, Hosur. So, so we are fairly spread across, uh, uh, you know, consultants, manufacturing, uh, automobile, healthcare, uh, uh, chemical, footwear, uh, manufacturing, retail, everywhere. So, so that's the split which you should also be looking at having in your portfolio when you invest. You should be diversifying your investment across tenants or tenant profiles and across cities and across locations because you want to take benefit of all the uh, you know tenants or all the probably uh, asset classes which which we are giving to offer you rather than just sticking on to one and increasing again your risk. Uh, these are some snippets or other pictures of our assets and the kind of ticket size we had. You can also visit our property page on our website and, and go through them in, in a larger detail or much more detail. Uh, just one minute I'll take. This is our current opportunity in LNTC Woods in Navi, Mumbai, where Pipeline Infrastructure Limited, which is the PIL, uh, which is known as PIL, they are our tenants. They, they have a five and a half year lock-in. So they are not going to move out and this is their head office. So, so they're definitely not going to move out. This is a company which is owned by Brookfield and Reliance and they are into the business of managing and transporting gas. So they have a 1400 kilometer long gas pipeline, which, which goes from Andhra Pradesh to uh, Gujarat and 11% of India's gas is transported by them. So pretty strong tenant, uh, crazy rentals and, and amazing terms. Uh, what is important is that we are acquiring this property at a discount to the market. The ready reckoner is at about 12,800-ish. We are acquiring this at 12,200. So, so that's one more reason for you to kind of uh, look at this uh, particular asset. So we are about 60% funded on this asset. And uh, by the 15th of this month, we are expecting to close this asset. Uh, 
our team is pretty experienced. Sudarshan and Priyanka are co-founders. Sudarshan is a, a, a lawyer by education and Priyanka was a financial wizard. She also worked with WeWork, uh, DE Shaw and all of that. Uh, I had investments. I was prior to uh, joining Strata three years back, I was with Pyramal Capital, where I used to manage the uh, private equity business and uh, real estate funding business. Apart from that, Ankit, Smriti, Kamal, uh, Pratik, Saloni are all uh, experts in their own field. And our total team size is about 60 member right now. We have our offices across Bangalore, Mumbai, Pune, and uh, also a rep office in Dubai. Uh, as a company, when we started off, uh, we got investment seed investments from Elevation and Mayfield. Elevation is one of the largest VC funds in uh, Asia and India. They've invested in other companies like Book My Show, Clear Tax, uh, National Stock Exchange, Swiggy, and uh, JM Financial as well. Uh, apart from that, Kotak Investment Advisors have also invested in us and, and they own a decent stake in our company. And Gruhas is a prop tech um, of uh, uh, Zerodas uh, founder Nikhil Kamat and Abhijit Pai, who's uh, the the uh, MD of Kozlona Group. So so that's our backing as well, and uh, we have trusted names coming in on our partners as well. So Universal Trusteeship is the trusteeship company which is there on all our assets. Uh, HDFC Bank and and escrow uh, and ICIC Bank are our escrow partners. We have Razorpay, whose mechanism virtual payment accounts which we use, and PropStack obviously is the market data and intelligence provider which we have. So. Happy to take on any questions, but before that, I would quickly take you through this latest report, which I got from CBRE, uh, and then we, we are happy to share this as well with you. This says that the leasing has grown by 40% year on year and has crossed about 56 million square feet in 2022. That's uh, a staggering demand and the highest growth which we've seen across last five years. Supply itself crosses 50 million square feet. So uh, what we have understood over here is that Taiwan cities uh, are seeing an increased demand in terms of office spaces and warehouses. People who already had their offices are expanding their offices and, and taking up more and more space. But there's a clear demarcation on AAA grade or A grade buildings and grade B or grade C buildings. So tenants, uh, the good, good buildings attract the best ten, uh, tenant and the best gentry. You will have Fortune 500 companies coming and setting up the offices and vice versa. So all our assets which, we, which we're buying or putting on the platform are, are the marquee assets which you can probably uh, look at. Uh, so happy to take on any questions which you might have. Uh, there's a Q&A box and, and you can probably write your questions over there. We have a question from uh, Prajakta. Will you provide this PPT to us at the end of the webinar? Absolutely. It will be sent to you along with uh, our other documents, which is the financial model and the investment deck. So that is something which uh, uh, we will provide to you as well. We have one more question from Pajakta. What will happen for natural disasters? So obviously there is insurance which is taken for all the properties. Uh, what we would also like to highlight is that uh, right from the time we have started off, we were in the thick of COVID, right? So for those two years, there was not even a single property or single tenant which has defaulted. Uh, and we have actual data for uh, you to see. So that is something where we feel very proud that as of now, we've distributed more than 40 crores of rent uh, uh, to all our investors across these 17, 18 properties, which we've done. Uh, we have one more question where we feel that when is the next uh, exit going to happen? So we are looking at exiting a couple of our assets in next one to two quarters. And uh, the, the IRRs or the returns, which we are expecting is going to beat the targeted projections, which we had initially at that point of time. Uh, we have a question from Mr. Prajita. Can I speak? Uh, Prajita, we would advise you to reach out reach out to us uh, on our uh, email id or someone from our team will reach out to you as well uh, and and we we're happy to speak and discuss uh, more or further on this uh, we have a question from preeti will there be any investment option below 25 lakhs uh, yes preeti in fact uh, 40 percent of our investors are women investors what we had done as uh, uh, as a gesture to our women investors because we wanted to promote financial freedom for women investors is that for every and every asset we come out with uh, limited slots, which could be 10 slots, where first time women investors could invest as low as 15 lakhs. However, we have limitation when the asset size is bigger because in, in a particular SPV or a particular asset, uh, you can have maximum 200 investors. So if the asset is 50 odd crores, 
we might not have that option, but otherwise for all our assets, we have at least 10 to 15 slots where our investors or our free first time female investors put in a minimum of 15 lakhs and upwards. Uh, okay, we have a question uh, from Prajakta. What is the optimistic growth rate for CRD you are projecting? So Prajakta, very good question. Uh, as I said, this is not the time where we can, you know, paint the entire city with a single color or single brush. Uh, the answer to this is going to be very specific. Uh, it purely depends on a lot of other factors. One of them being what is the demand and supply in that particular micro market? What are the rental trends? What is the vacancy in that particular micro market? And what is the infra development which we are seeing over here? Hence, uh, if you see in our portfolio of close to 100 million, we do not have a single property in BKC because we still feel that BKC, the properties, the good properties which are up for sale, are uh, uh, you know inflated in terms of the prices what they seek. So we we are okay not doing an asset rather than doing an asset at an inflated price. To give you an example of the current asset which we're doing, we were offered assets in the similar building two years back at 13 and a half, 14,000 rupees a square feet, which is the average price uh, of the LNTC Woods building, which is the first transit oriented building in India. Uh, the, the mall between the two commercial towers owned by Blackstone. So very marquee building, right? But we said that, or we thought at that point of time that this could not be the correct price and we might not see a further appreciation happening from that. And look where we are today. We are acquiring property at 12,200, which is a substantial 20-25% discount to the rate at which we were uh, discussing two years back. So, so we are very uh, conservative in terms of acquiring a property. Uh, we will not acquire a property unless we see uh, enough and more uh, appreciation into that. Just to uh, you know answer that question in one more way, Strata as Strata, we earn our fees. Obviously, uh, we take one percent management fee. What we also do is when our clients, when our investors exit and you make 10% return year on year. Only beyond that, we take our profit sharing fee. So our rental yield is anywhere between seven and a half to eight and a half to nine. But if you get that capital appreciation and your IRR becomes 10 odd percent, only beyond that, we do profit sharing with you in the ratio of 20 to 80, which means that let's say if you, when you exit and there's a 14% return, which you've got. So out of that 14, first 10 goes to you. On that balance for 20% is taken by us, which is 0.8. And then the balance 80 percent is given to you. So out of the 14, 13.2 is what you will get and 0.8 is what we get. So our, our profits are linked to the exits. Uh, and only if you as an investor make that money or that kind of uh, return post that we earn. Unlike a lot of other players in the market where uh, they charge from the beginning as well, which is the profit sharing, which we don't do. So, so that is our confidence when we acquire assets. We will acquire at a decent rate. Or, or at a substantial discount to the market or probably at the lower end of the market price. Great, so uh, if there are no more questions, uh, happy to discuss one-on-one -on -one with you as well and you can reach out to our team as well. Uh, we are based in Mumbai, Bangalore, uh, Pune as well. So if you all, any one of you all want to visit our offices, most welcome and uh, have a great uh, 2023. Yes, we will provide the PBD. Thank you so much.